What's up? How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, pretty good. Cool. Live stream. Yeah. Live stream. You started the countdown? <clears throat> um, turn off my microphone.
one. That's fine. There you go. What's up, everybody? It didn't go to the next scene, though, did it? Just go next scene. There you go. Hey, look. We got people setting shit up in the studio. Hey, welcome, everybody. If y'all are, um... Let me see the... Yeah, I can see it. See on the other computer, you can see the... You can see the levels. What's up, everybody? Donnie B. Lord Pro Recording. <laughs> What's up? Um... Yeah, don't just stay on, just stay on that, bro. Stay on that. Okay. There you go. Now go to camera four. Even on camera four, we should set those cams though. Still setting cameras. Can I use my ears? Yes, you can. Shoe. Oh, hey, everybody. Y'all could be talking to the people, you know. What up, everybody? Just say stuff, man. Um, oh, I had to go in there and adjust cameras a little bit. Um, Jesse, Jesse, man, if you can scroll through them cameras, let people see what they're going to see. Today we got a live drum session, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're just setting things up. Um, just got the track sheet. Uh, just got the amount of drums. I got guys in the studio setting things up and plugging stuff in. I'm going to be making a session right now. If Jesse goes to my computer screen, y'all see I'm making a... We're going to work in Pro Tools today because that's what I'm more familiar with. Um, not not a logic guy. Close, but um, not good enough just yet. So there you go. Uh, we are monitoring on the analog console today. You guys didn't see my hand movement there, but that's cool. I'm moving my hands. Um, go to camera one there, Jess. See? We're going to be on the console today. Well, I'm going to write stuff down. We're going to use some of the outboard preamps. We're going to be patching stuff on this side. I'll go back to the camera. The guy setting up the ca uh, camera for it. There you go. Hey, everybody. Yeah, this is uh, kind of fun. I don't know if anybody... Is anybody out there? Anybody watching? How many people we got viewing? Uh, one. Woo, it's me. <laughs> it's actually me. I'm yeah. watching myself. This is awesome. I know y'all Y'all probably... um. Everybody's probably at work, man. Yeah. But that's fine. We'll see it later. Yeah. It's going to be replayed, so don't worry. And then we're also um, we're also recording the whole thing, and we're going to let these guys edit up. Through. We're basically doing a drum cover video, but I thought it'd be cool to show um, the whole setup. You know what I mean? So, anyway. I thought it'd be fun for y'all to come in and see what goes on in the real world of uh, setting up drums and stuff like that. Um, There we go. 
All right, I got to redo my, um, I love when Pro Tools does this, bro. I got to go over here and go here and then go back to Pro Tools. And now I see Pro Tools on the top, but uh, we love Pro Tools, don't we? Oh, yeah. No, we don't. Just to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to strip all this. I'm going to delete all the paths. I'm going to select all this. Delete all the paths. Yeah, I know it's being used. Leave me alone. I'm going to select all this and delete all the paths. Yeah, I know it's being used. Leave me alone. And then I'm going to go down here and make sure i got all tabs on. I'm going to import some settings that I have saved. And I'm going to call this the normal audience console setup. Oh, this console is an audience ASP4816. Not the greatest console in the world, but also not the worst. Let's just say that. Um, audience, if you're listening, should have done better. Should have done <laughs> kind of uh, never mind. Don't even start on that stuff, people. Don't even think about it. Um, let's go. So, we're gonna set up tracks. Uh, we've got a few more added tracks. I got a kick in and a sub kick. Yeah, we got that snare top, snare bottom. Yeah, we got that. Next, we have the hi hat, the rack tom. We actually add, need to add a rack tom. So, we're gonna have rack tom too. Oh, crap. Um, that didn't work out the way I planned. Um, yeah, it didn't work out the way I planned at all. Man, you'd think I'd make stuff up, but that's cool. I'm Rack Tom. Gonna make a copy of that. The Floor Tom, I'm gonna make a copy of that because I got two Floor Toms. And we'll call this Rack Tom 2. Rack Tom 2. We'll call the next one Floor Tom 1. Or Floor Tom 2. There we go. Y'all hear the jackhammer down the street? It's fun. It's just whole lots of fun, man. We need to be having more fun like that. Next, we have, uh, I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm going to call this the Amy mic right next to the floor tom. Basically, I put an Amy mic today because I needed a, a mono source right there. Put my Amy. Overhead left, overhead right. Uh, mono room is next. And then instead of a stereo room, I'm going to use a um, a far room. Check that out. Far room. Okay, now we can populate the... Um, I got a talk back and a click already set up going out the right direction. Now we're going to just select everything. And whether we're working in the mixer page or the edit page does not matter. I'm going to go start at 1. I'm holding down Shift Option Command. Start at 1 and notice that it populates 1, 2, 3, all the way out to 14. Do the same for the outputs because we're monitoring on the console. There you go. All the way through 14. Let's go back to the edit window. There's the edit window. We're all set. Let's save 100 times because we know how Pro Tools likes to act. Oh, what's up, man? I'm talking to the uh, one person that's... Uh, watching the stream. Hey, we gotta watch. Which is it. me. We gotta yeah. watch. It. I'm watching. That's right. You guys yeah. should be watching on your phones and laptops. <laughs> and <laughs> you just taught me a new, a new key, a new key from my. Uh, oh, you're a Pro Tools guy. Yeah. Sorry about that, man. Okay. Life's not perfect for everyone. Hell no, definitely <laughs> not. That shit. Everybody hates Pro Tools, man. Abbott, are you listening? Yeah. <laughs> you love it going in, and then once you use it for a while, it's like. It's not even that, man. It's about the the subscription you got to pay. You know, I mean, they they tried to get me for they tried to get me for a thousand dollars a year for each one of my rooms. How many rooms for a license? I have three. Three. Holy shit! I have yeah. three with Pro Tools in it, and man. they tried to get me for a thousand bucks a year for all of them. I was like, ah, I don't think I'm gonna pay that. Yeah, no. So I, I actually have a um, I actually have a uh, I got a guy, Danny at Westlake Pro. If you're listening, hook me up really good next time. Threw a shout out, <clears throat> but uh, no, I got a guy at Westlake Pro, and he, he, he you know, he, he basically grandfathered me into. As long as I stay where I am, I only pay three fifty a year. That's good. Three forty nine. Yeah. But I've got the flex system, so I got mm. two thousand forty eight tracks. God damn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. God damn. <laughs> holy <laughs> Stupid. shit! Who needs that? Yeah, holy. Who fuck. needs that? Let's switch the cam, man. Let's uh, people are like. <laughs> Just watching a Pro Tools screen. Go to the um. Go to the go to the camera four. Camera four is gonna be like your main go to, bro. Okay. All right. So. Got it. Let me go in here and help these guys out. If y'all want to talk to the audience of one, okay. Feel free. 
Yeah. It's you. They can hear you. Okay. Everyone um, can hear you. Well, it's my first time using this camera software, so that's why uh, Donnie keeps telling me what to do. Um, How's your day going, man? Oh, it's great. Yeah? Nice to be here. <laughs> yeah, another sunny day in paradise. Yep, yep, too sunny sometimes. Yeah, way <laughs> too sunny. It's been hot, man. Uh, very. Where are y'all from? Leave it in the chat. We're out here in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, where the sun is at. Oh, uh, always. <laughs> Three inches from the sun. Right. <laughs> Just know that whatever y'all talk about is being heard. Yes. Okay. Alright. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's use that as the uh, ballroom. room. I, I put the UH7 in. Let's use that as like the ballroom. room. Just put it over there in the corner somewhere. Or in the, you can put it in the other room. Uh, so we're going to record some drums. Do are. you guys have any questions? Let's do a little uh, Q and A. We drop drop your questions down in the comments below. And while you're here, don't forget to check out our free studio growth formula. Go visit learnprorecording.com/studiogrowthformula. Got a bunch of free materials for all of you aspiring engineers out there. Y'all want me to patch stuff, or y'all gonna do it? For those who don't know, we're out here at ES Audio here in Glendale. Uh, if you want to book a session, just visit the website. The link's up on the screen. Oh, you found the links? Yes, that's I did. Really cool. Yeah. Oh, that's that's awesomely awesome. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we've got a pretty awesome space. This uh, room was designed specifically for tracking drums, and it gets really great tones. Tell so, them about your drum session, uh, Jesse from Diabology. <laughs> Jesse here. Jesse. Jesse's here. He's one of our interns. He's running. He's our moderator today, and um, he's running things today for you guys. And um, he is in a band, Diabology, which dro you just dropped your last single. Uh, yeah, we just dropped a single. We've got another one on the way. Sweet. Our album was tracked right here at ES Audio. And, and those drums, I've never heard drums sound as good as they did in this room with you guys, honestly. Oh, yeah, no. It, this this room is incredible. And the whole album came out sounding incredible. Well, you guys had, an, you guys had a, a fantastic uh, producer. Yes. Black Metal Dave. Yeah, Go check out. him out on, uh, on Instagram. Dave Kaminsky. Did awesome work. What is it, work. at Black Metal Dave on Instagram? I yeah. believe so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's coming out October 7th, if you're the a whole metal album, band. Right? Yeah, the full yeah. album comes out October 7th. So Will there be a party? Uh, on, on October 8th, we're doing the release show. It's going to be at Amelia Mayberry Skate Park out here in Whittier. We're going to have okay. a... Say Los Angeles, it sounds so much cooler. Uh, yeah, in Los Angeles. Uh, <laughs> right on the beach. <laughs> yeah, we do. there's going to be like a skating contest and tacos and shit. Is it? Okay. <laughs> Thought you've said enough. Tacos is all we needed to talk about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to check out Diabology, man, I, I, I suggest highly you go check it out because those drums sound amazing. The whole band sounds great, but the drums are specifically awesome. Yes, very. And we actually, we, we filmed some drum videos, too, using pretty much this exact setup that you guys are seeing right now. Uh, so if you want to shoot any drum cam vids, again, go to the link on screen. The other link there is um, the free thing they can get from Learn Pro Recording. Yes, we, uh, that, that already we talked about that earlier as well. All right, let me see that one. What does it, what does it look like? Let me see what it looks like. Oh, you gotta, you gotta close the other one yep. first. Oh, there you go. That looks cool, though. It does. It looks cool. Yeah. The only uh, thing that bugs me is that the, the blue is a different color on the, the output. Uh, it and I don't does see look it. Oh, there you go. More it does, yeah, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, maybe I just gotta fix the colors on that monitor. Yeah. Because on the, on the, I see on the stream it's nice and blue. Yeah. All right, you can take that down now. It's okay. <laughs> there you go. All righty. Yeah. 
So anybody got anything to ask or talk about or anybody want to say anything about how many people are in that room right now? Check, check out Cam 5. Check out Camera 5 real quick. That's going to be a cool set. That's going to be a cool... Uh, you know what I need to do, though, is I need to move it to the right just a little bit, huh? Yeah. You guys think I should move that to the right just a tad? I do. <laughs> but y'all just let me know. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I think it should move over a little bit. All right, back to Camera 4. And we got to fix that foot cam, too, so we can actually see the beater. Um, yeah. Speaking of Number 4, that's... um. Go into that one. Go in there. Hat is Got on the console. Hatch bay action going on here. Yeah, right? Over here. Hatch bay action right here. I got cables. I got cables, people. Oh, cables for days. All right, uh, number six goes to SSL1. SSL1 out to number six. Number seven goes to SSL two. I'm gonna to talk to you the whole time I do this. SSL two to number seven. I'm basically talking to myself. Um, number eight goes to SSL three. And number eight into the Pro Tools. Number nine, number nine, SSL four goes to number nine. Number nine. Anybody get that reference? No? Okay. Number nine. Eight. Somebody's getting their reference. Somebody's going to get it and, and leave a comment. Watch. Okay. Number nine. It's from a movie. Sounds familiar. It is. It's uh, 1991, the year punk broke. The story of Nirvana. Number nine. Okay, <laughs> never mind. It's, a, it's an inside joke. All right, ten goes to the console. Don't need anything there. Um, 11 to the ART, number 1 to 11, number 12, ART number 2. That is not an ART, um, what is it? It's an ART, um, actually we should turn it on because it's a 2. It's an ART digital MPA2, but it's not what it appears to be. It's, um, somewhat, somewhat mod modified. Somewhat. Dude, my brother called me yesterday. Y'all wanna hear y'all wanna hear how redneck my brother is? <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> he's living in Texas. Alright? And he rented this apartment on a golf course. First of all, the boy don't golf. Alright? He don't golf at all. But he called he's telling me, he said, Yeah, man, I I rented this apartment on this golf course. He said, after the golfers get done, you know, right around 7.15, 7.30 in the evening, it's still light out, I go fishing in the pond. <laughs> He's catching fish in the pond. You know the pond on the golf course where guys lose their golf balls? Yeah. My brother goes fishing in it. <laughs> Dude, that's as redneck as you're going to get right there. <laughs> you know, fish. You don't play golf, but you go fish in the dam. Ooh, a pond. Let me fish. <laughs> no offense to the rednecks of the world. I love every one of y'all, you know, because I'm part of the crew. Um... <laughs> Sometimes the president. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'm in charge of the meetings. <laughs> you know, but that's okay. <laughs> I have to act like I'm from Los Angeles. If you only knew. <laughs> we, we the people that golf, they fish on the golf course. <laughs> Who else fishes on a golf I thought that was pretty funny. Maybe I'm thinking it's funnier than y'all do. You're like, that's pretty normal. I don't know. I, I don't play golf either. Yeah, Where'd I stop? Um, 13. 13 is SSL 5. That is the mono room. Let's go to SSL 5. And back to 13. And then 14's on the console, so we're all set. Um, Oh, shit. I got... Oh, oh shoot. I got... Hey, this ain't for the kids. Put the kids down for the nap. You know, so if y'all hanging out, uh, have the kids go in another room, play some, uh, watch some SpongeBob or something, because um, sometimes that comes out, and you know, I apologize in advance. Um, which one I got? Oh, LA Force. Um, so eleven, eleven and twelve. I want to send to the LA Force. Look, it's, it's right next door, dude. Why you gotta have this long ass cable to go like literally three inches? Not even that. 
and then 11. 11. And 12. I'm running the LA4s on the overheads on this drum session because my LA4s are from, I think they're 1971. They're original Yuri's. And I just had them serviced, and I haven't used them. I haven't really used them yet since then. So this will be a, a test. See what they look like. All right, now I'm going to write on the console now and all the external preamps here. So I got my kick in. Got my sub kick. Yeah, the redneck came out on that one. Um, snare top. Snare bottom. Hat. Rack one. Rack two. Floor one. Floor two. Then we got Amy. When I say Amy, what I'm talking about is the Amy miking technique. I don't know if you guys ever... Over at left. Over at right. If you get a chance, man, go... Um, and then... The mo I, know I'm, I know I'm trying to mono room. Go check out the video on the Learn Pro Recording YouTube about the Amy technique. Well, there's that, but I got I stole it from Mark Ronson with a... Uh, the reason we call it Amy Mike is because uh, it was on um, Amy Winehouse Rehab. Uh, Mark Ronson did this one. He did basically two microphones on the entire drum kit in that song. And, it, it, dude, it's sick. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, we did a video on it about how it sounds and stuff. So, yeah, go check that out on YouTube. You can find it. Uh, Learn Pro Recording Amy. I don't know. I forget what we call it. Just, just search for Amy Miking Technique or something. Um, Where are we at? Oh. Um, 1073 is the kick in. Oh, yeah, that's good. The sub kick. No, here he did it. Okay. Alright. Snare top. Snare bottom. Console is a five. I'll, I'll mark it. It doesn't really matter, but hat. Okay. And then, um, oh. <laughs> Using the lime green tape today because it's funny. In case you guys care. <laughs> funny, funny Tuesday? Today's Tuesday? Yeah. yeah. What happened on Monday? Uh, Good question. It passed. <laughs> I guess. I think. <laughs> Who cares what day it is when you work here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seriously. We're in a time go? warp once you step in the building. How many yeah. people got what? <laughs> oh, we got two people. Though. Somebody else is there. Who else is in? Oh, it's you. So. <laughs> Almost. <Yeah. laughs> I was hoping somebody yeah. would comment. <laughs> Ask a question or something. People, come on, man. <laughs> Wasting all this live time. What the hell? Um, Should we be recording all these cameras? Or where's uh, Jose? Right. Um, did you guys want all these cameras recorded all at the same time to co recut for a music video or something? Or yeah, that'll work. When we actually play or what? Yeah, that can work. For the only thing we really need all the cameras for is for the drum cover. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So just all the. We're not gonna broadcast the drum. Did you bring stems for the drum cover? I brought the the two track version of it, so we don't have to worry about having all this back stuff. Yeah, but we may. Is it a, what cover is it? Um. What's the song? There's Prayer of a Refugee. We have two just in case. There was Prayer of a Refugee one and then a Slipknot one. Yeah, we can't. We're going to have to cut the live stream before we do that because For the it's copyright. copyright stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the only so thing. So we'll just, we'll just do that after. That's fine. <clears throat> For now, let's just uh, let's just do the live stream until we get some cool drum sounds and stuff, and then Sounds we'll good. cut the live stream. Um, you works. guys are live right now, by the way, So and there's two whole people watching. Ooh, okay. two people. And we're both right here, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, whatever. You know, it's really funny. Um... So, all right, I was uh, labeling things. So I got Amy. Let's see. Um, oh, I stopped at the rack tom. Rack one. Which is there. Rack two is there. Um, floor. One. Floor two. And then we also have the mono room. Right there, okay. And then the far room should be on the console. 
on number 14. Okay, so this one needs to go to 5. <clears throat> We're going to route this to 5. And then we'll route this one to, oh, and that one's down, 14. Okay. Oh. Um, that's a ribbon mic, so it might need a little more nut. That is a SM7B, so we know it needs more. All right, let's see what, um, let's see that one, that one. So the overheads are on the ART. They need, they need the 48 volt. And that's it. That's the only um condenser mics that we have. That's a great question. Oh, that's their sheet. I thought I saw them up here. Yeah, that's the I'm pretty sure I'm out front. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. We got to check our room through here and here. I guess we can still lay doing this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Where do you go? Who's right there? Yeah. Went to the back. What? <laughs> R1, R2. Dude, y'all really gotta fix those overheads, man. That's like oh, no, code red. Over That's on like symbol city. <coughs> Why is this? Somebody said they're out front. I don't know who. Y'all know anybody that should be out front? I don't know. No. Overheads. Is he just talking about like any mic that's literally over your head? Or yeah, that's, that's like the highest one. Okay. Yeah. Oops. So, what is your guys' favorite drum set? Leave it in the comments below. Who's your favorite drummer? What is your favorite drum? I like the snare. How about you? I like the cymbal. The, uh, all, all the cymbal? Um, I would say that crack cymbal. Yeah. Especially yeah. the splash cymbal. Oh, yeah. The splashes. It's splashes fun. go hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tiny <Yeah. laughs> little. Hit the crap out of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what I would do if I were you is I'd grab that stool when nobody's sitting on it right now. Quick. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got to learn how to do shit around here, man, because... Whoever was sitting there before, you shifted your meat, you lost your seat. You shifted your meat? Y'all never that's heard a, that before? No, I've never heard that. You shifted your meat, you lost your seat. I guess no. that, that comes from being a redneck and having like 82 people living in my house. Yeah. Shifted you know? meat. <laughs> and there ain't no place to sit because you got up, you lost your seat. All right, where, where are we at? What are we doing? All right, we adjusted the... That's just stupid. Now, let me, let me show you all how to... I mean, let me help. All right. Let me help. stream right now okay. talking to all these party people <laughs> having a jolly old time on this Tuesday morning Uh, 
<laughs> I came here to record with my band okay. and connected with him there. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But Donnie offers many amazing courses, which you can find at at learnprorecording.com to <laughs> check it out. It's okay to unplug a mic with phantom power on it, but you can't plug in a mic with phantom power on it. Because then you're sending 48 volts of power to the mic all at the same time. When you turn on phantom power, it kind of ramps up. When you turn it off, it ramps down. So you're not killing the diaphragm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Donnie B dropping bombs. They're using the, the shotgun mic. Yes. Yeah, those little mics there, if you guys can see that. It's really tiny. Yeah. We call those our shotgun mics. Because they are basically little shotgun shells. No, they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are little shotgun shells. Yeah, I mean, they're just modified. <laughs> This is why you always arrive early. There's a yeah. there's a Dude, saying in the studio biz. Dude, we should have done a TikTok on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we were we were in such a hurry to get everything done. <laughs> well, you got yeah. This recorded. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got this. But yeah, there's a saying in the in the biz that uh, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. late. And if you're late, late you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> Megadeth is pretty good. Uh, oh, the new Machine Head. That's uh, I, I actually I haven't gotten all the way through the album just yet, but I'm liking what I've heard so far.
still only two people looking at us, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just fucked up. Nobody likes me. Yeah. It's all right. I don't care. I don't like anybody else either. <laughs> so, you know. Um, let's see. We're gonna go far left, a little bit left, a little bit right, and far right on the toms. So that's um. That's actually mixing drummer perspective. So when he hears it in his headphones, when he hits that first tom, it'll be over here. And he hits that floor tom, it'll be over here. Now that's backwards from what we're seeing. Yeah. So, so you're doing it like if he was facing us? Like I'm doing it like I'm the drummer. Oh, like you're the drummer, yeah. okay. Yeah, whenever I record, I do drummer perspective. Okay. Okay, if I, if I mix the song that I have not recorded, I'll mix it audience perspective. All right. Meaning that's what the audience is seeing. So when the audience sees it, when he hits the floor tom, it's on the left. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, but and then too, it's all for my um. That's more for my um. You know, my drumming friends that like to air drum in the car. So that it actually you know, follows. When they hear the okay. song and they yeah. play the tom fill, you know, they hear it go across. Yeah, that's cool. So let's not confuse that with um other stuff. So let's see where we at. Um, dude, can you hear me? You want to just play a little bit? Yeah, just warm up. There you go. So here's our kick in. We should uh, initialize everything. That's way too much. Where's our kick drum at? 1073. Gotta be come way back. Go pull that mic back. That's kicking, right? Still adjust the drummer's still adjusting, ladies and gentlemen. In case you care, both of us don't. Oh, we got three people. Who's who else is watching? Are you watching on somebody watching online? Who else is there? Leave a comment, man. Let's see who you are. Tell us where you're from. I'm turn off mic one for a second. Hey, well, anybody, anybody out there watching, let us know where you're from, where, where you're viewing us from. So. top
do the do the tom thing again, man. Change the cable on number 11. Change the cable. Which is overhead left. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I hate those, so let's go, uh, let's change the microphones. Okay. Put on, um, hang on, dude. Where are you going? Put those on. No comments? No questions? Is that mine? It is. That's Jesse trying to drink my, drink my coffee, but. Mm -hmm. That's me. My coffee, dude. Yes. Mm. Both overheads. No felt. We ain't outside. So, uh, anybody got a joke? Um, no? Um, oh, 
Oh, you know what we can do is move that. Uh, turn on Cam 6 for me real quick. And then hit the um, program button right there. So that's what I see in the other room, so I can see how to place that camera. Okay. <laughs> Donnie, replacing the camera. Can we get some hype? Please. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let me see that beater. <laughs> Looks good to me. Okay, that's proof. <laughs> 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 I'm <laughs> deeply, I think that Don is <laughs> deeply appreciative. <laughs> Indebted. <laughs> it's a dad thing. Oh, oh your dad thing. Hey everybody, all three of us that are in this room, watching each other in this room, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Heck yeah. Man. I kind of don't know, I, I kind of don't even know what we're doing today, so <laughs> whatever. We're doing drum covers, whatever that is. Um, this is overhead laughter. Who's laughing? Not me. <laughs> it's not funny. Why, why are you laughing? That's not funny. What's funny about it? Nothing. Funny. He doesn't care. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what's funny. He don't care. Um, you can change the foot cam now if you want. So there you go. I mean, people get tired of looking at the feet. Yeah. You know, that's all. Because they don't hear anything. All they see is feet. And they're like, what the hell is this? They come on live. They're like, I don't want to watch this. It's stupid. All I'm seeing is somebody's feet. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, drummer, don't touch the guitar. <laughs> Bad. Bad drummer. Don't touch the guitar. <laughs> you could have ruined the guitar, man. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. There's tons of drummer jokes if y'all want jokes. I got jokes for drummers. Uh oh. You need one? Yeah. You need one? Okay. Yeah. How do you know that you know your pizza delivery guy is a drummer? How? When he knocks on the door, it speeds up and slows down. Speeds up and slows down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. He's never on time. He's never on time. Never, never on time. <laughs> the um uh, LA4s now. Mm. What do you think? Let's give it a shot, shall we? For those AR201. Yeah, the AR201. 
Archie. Donnie, one one day, could you let me patch? I know, I know I'm gonna fuck up just to like. Yeah. Can I try it? Sure. All right. Not right this minute. I just, yeah, not right this minute. I just, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I just want to understand it because it just looks. Yeah, like you have to. Should be 11 and 12 are the um, overheads. So let's just go with um, a dynamics here. Let's try a. Um, we try a distressor. See what's up. See if they got a. Let's just find a good preset for overheads. Let's go with uh, Jacques King. See if he's got some overhead love for us. He does. Look at him. He's got a preset called Drum Overheads, bro. Alright, let's just uh, copy this over to the other one. We can actually turn these on. power. Alright, I do 
Dude, just uh, just hold a beat, warm up. I'm a, I'm a like do a little quick mix in here. Thank 
Stay in your hands, okay? Yeah. yeah, we saw that, man. We got it all on camera if you want to watch it. I, uh, I'm gonna send you the click. Make sure you get enough, okay? Yeah. Just because then, if it's all the same, we could take it and then stretch it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, somewhat. A little bit. But you know. I'm trying to think, what would be a good BPM? 120. You can turn it up on yours where it says click, press that button, and turn it up. I can turn it up in here too, though. So. How's that? Is that good? Yeah, good? All right. See, this one I do have set up where I turn it off from here, and he still has it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check phase. We're going to let him play a little bit, and we're going to check the phase of the signal. Specifically on the ones that are, like, the overheads are, uh, the overheads are always a culprit. Up and upper and bottom snare are always a culprit. Because they're, you know, microphones of similar design that are close together with each other. 
So what we do this, we, we go zoom in on on the actual waveform. Just to the snare top and snare bottom. Right. You can kind of see that they're they're slightly out of phase. Right there, that one's going up and that one's going down. That one's going up, that one's going down. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So only does flip the phase on one or the other. Um, and that's as simple as hitting the phase button on the one or the other. So we'll go zoom in on the overheads, which they look good. I can already see that they're fine. As we get farther from the snare, the waves is... So that's, uh, that's generally the, 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 the culprits. Sometimes the room mics will get it. Look at this though. I mean, this is kind of interesting to see that the time that it takes the sound to hit from the kick drum is here, and then hitting the room mic, which is over there, is there. So that's like. Um, if you look at time, it's 0 .008 milliseconds. You can actually look at it in the form of samples. 392 sample difference from there to there. I want that to sound like a far mic. Why would I put it right into the other mic? No, don't do that. Don't ever do that. Unless you're programming drums, don't do that. If you have programmed drums, this is the this is the problem with programmed drums and drums in a room. That distance of the microphone away from the actual source of the, 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 the sound. That's what makes it sound like it's in a room. Very, I mean, it's 392 samples out of 48,000. It's not that much, yeah. but it's enough that if you did line it up, it would sound like garbage. Yeah, so that. Okay. All right. So if y'all want to, you know, record some drum breaks, now's a good time. So you can talk to your drummer. And, and I think it sounds. Do you think it sounds good? Yeah, you think it sounds all right. Yeah, we can talk good right now. Hey, you good? Warmed up? All right, before we get started, hang on. All right, give Jesse's us. going to bring up the Give me the one second. Thing. We're going to do, because we're gonna we're do gonna a couple this. of drum fills, so just take a break right now, stretch your hands out, and then we're going to do some stuff in here. We're going to run this again on, you know, we're going to repeat this live, so go ahead and run that, and then say something about it, or I'll say something about it. Go ahead. Hey, if y'all out there want to get uh, the free publication right now on, uh, on LearnProRecording.com is the Studio Growth Formula. Go grab that Studio Growth Formula, man. The Studio Growth Formula is a real simple seven-step plan to help you build, grow, and scale your studio into possibly taking over your day job money. Hashtag quit your day job. Ladies and gentlemen, come hang out with us all day. It is awesome. Okay. Thank you, Jesse. All right. All good? And the other thing is the studio, right? The studio that we are in is esaudio.com. If you want more, more information about that, then... Go look us up, check us out, check out the room, check out what's going on. Let me, uh, before we get started, should we put the um, the drive on the thing and record what he does on all the cameras so you guys can have that for editing later, or you want to just do that on the drum cover stuff? Um, I figure we'll just do that on the drum cover stuff. For the little drum breaks, all I care about is the actual audio yeah. that we get from it. Okay. So, Jesse, we, we are, um, let me take that off. We are um, going to record some drum breaks now, so if you want to switch around the cameras, maybe get some of that foot stuff in there, because we are still live. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So just pay attention, and um, you're going to record it? Yeah. So let him know what we're doing. Did you let him know? Yeah, I'm going to tell him. Okay, good. All right, so we're going to do, like, little drum breaks, basically. So, like, give me, like, a couple bars of, like, a groove with and a nice fill at the end. So we're just going to do a bunch of, like, different ones. So... Change it up, change up the fill, change up the groove and everything. We're just going to take them, chop them later, and like add them up into different things. One more time? Uh, yeah, four. Either four or eight, either one, whichever one you feel like doing. Like I said, you can change it up. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know why I talk back so well. It's always like this? Okay. All right, you good? So that tempo is 120. What you were just playing to before, same one. All right. All right, here we go.
Stop. Hold on right there. I'm gonna we're gonna do basically like four at a time, four of the loops at a time. Or do you know if Donnie no, do you know if Donnie still has it set up to where if we record over, does it automatically playlist? Um no, I don't think so. I'm not even sure to be honest. Let me go ask him real quick. Actually, that's fine. It'll do all of them? Yeah, if all of them are clicked. What's going on here? There we go. You said command backslash does it? Or control. Or control backslash? There. Sure. Okay. Well, I think all of them went in there. Oh no, so it just did that one. Oh, okay. It so just did one. Maybe it needs to be like this. Then you see control and backslash. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so it was. I just have to select them over here instead yeah. of the eclipse. Okay. Alright, let's do it again. Same thing. What? That's fine. That's what I want you to do. Don't, don't try to. Just play something different each time, basically. Here we go. Hold on, let me delete that. Sorry guys, I drove myself. <laughs> Good. says something I hear it and he said wait wait go go like there's a little delay but I hear it sometimes <coughs> it's kind of weird whatever yeah. I'm here you guys here I'll be here <laughs> oh, I read it just decided to not do one of them make sure we're all Good. All right, for the next one, let's try to do some like Tom stuff, like you know, like breakdowns and stuff, like Tom fills. All right, here we go.
get a grenade. Okay, and then for the next one, let's do more like just grooves. Hold on. Ready? It's 120. We're keeping it the same for all of them because we're going to chop these up and do different things with them. He's all fancy. Yeah. Alright, for this next one, let's just try to do a little bit longer of just a groove. Okay. Like, just kind of groove for a while, so that way we can cut up the groove if we want it or do different things. Okay.
collecting. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna do that one more time. Pro Tools had a selection, so it stopped halfway. All right, ready? Yeah, we're going to bump up the tempo from 120 to probably like 138, 140. Yeah, see, so it's every time I do that, it makes sense. It makes sense. Sure. Okay. I just got to make sure. So we'll go... Tell me how this tempo is for you, okay? That's good? That'll work? I, I guess we, we hear it, and then if it's too fast. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Nah, 140. All right, let's go.
The next one we're going to do is going to be at that fast tempo. We're, we're just going to do the uh, the tom stuff. So try to, yeah, try to do some like big breakdowns with the toms, just different things. The biggest breakdowns. Yeah. <laughs> like, basically. All right, you good? You want to get any more of like anything Tom? Do you want to go slower or faster or anything? No, that's good. Because I, as long as I have some at 120 and some at 140, I can <coughs> chop up yeah, those fills. Yeah, I feel like that's a good one's fast, one's slow. All right, let's end the live stream then. Uh, go ahead and hit. Um, We're going to end the live stream and then go to do your drum coverage right now. All right, hang on a second. What are you guys doing the fills for? Just so we can take them and like add them to different things, mm -hmm. basically like chop them up if you want. Yeah, yeah, Put them yeah. in different shapes. Okay, don't yeah, forget yeah. to uh, go. Don't forget to go grab the free uh, publication, uh, Studio Growth Formula. It's right there on the screen. I also on the replay. I'll also put this in the description of YouTube. So, you guys get ready for that. The studio we're in today is ESAudio.com, Los Angeles, California. Go check out more information about that if you want to. If you guys are in town or ever want to stop by and say hello or buy me lunch, feel free. <laughs> Talk soon. Go. Uh, we're going to have to end the live stream here because we're going to be doing some covers. And we know that uh, uh, we're not paying for the license for those. So it's just uh, some drum covers for uh, some YouTube stuff for later on. But here we go. We're going to get up out of here. We uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We'll talk soon. See you on the next one. Bye. Peace.